Here's the animation we're going to build using Match Geometry Effect in Swift UI. If I tap on my face, we get a nice fluid animation into like an expanded profile view. Tap on my face again, we're back into collapsed. Let me slow it down for you. Little bonus tip, debug, slow animations, you can really dissect your animations. So what's gonna happen here, when I tap on my face, real fluid, my face gets bigger, you see my name drop down, don't know if you noticed it, iOS developer was red, now it's gray, and it centers, and then this bottom area reveals. Kind of simulating like, you know, what a YouTube page could potentially be like, where you could expand this and see more information about the YouTuber kind of thing. So, very smooth, very fluid, and that's what Match Geometry Effect gives you. Let's build it. Let me give you the big picture of the three steps needed to create this animation, and then we'll dive into each step. First of all, we need two views to switch from. Like you saw in the animation, we have like a collapse view and an expanded view. Those are our two views. Uh, you need a way to trigger the switch between those two views. And then third, you need to let SwiftUI know which views to animate between the two. Again, that was big picture, let's dive in deeper. So step one, two views, right? And I'll explain my project as we go. It's just all UI. I, I typed that out so you didn't watch me type, you know, 15 minutes of UI before getting the match geometry effect. I wanted the video to be focused. Anyway, so you see I have a VStack here, right, of a collapsed profile view, so we see here on the right, and then my video list view, which again is just dummy YouTube video looking things. So the two views we want to switch between are the collapsed profile view. So let me open this up and you can see the UI. So like I said, just an HDAC profile image with the frame and a VStack of my name and iOS developer. So this is our collapsed profile view. And then we have our expanded profile view. Again, this is a VStack. Well, actually, let me switch so you can see it here. So collapsed profile view to expanded. These are, the, again, the two views we're going to switch between with our animation. Now you see that on the right. So we saw in the beginning of the video, we switched between collapsed and expanded. So if we're switching between these two views, well, let's set up an if else. That's how we switch between them. But we need a Boolean to track that, right? So the first thing we want to do, let's add a at state private var, I will call it is profile expanded, right? Well, that'll be equal to false to start. So now in our body, in our VStack here, we can do if is profile expanded, then we want to show expanded profile view. Else we'll show collapsed. Right, that's very basic if else statement. That is us switching between the two views. So now we need a way to trigger this animation. And like I showed you, we're gonna tap my face to trigger the animation. But what you'll notice is we don't get that pretty match geometry effect animation, but I wanna walk through this step by step. So down here in my profile image, which again, reviewing my UI, is just the image, Sean's avatar, uh, resizable, clip shape circle. And here you see I've added on tap gesture. So what we wanna do on tap gesture is Profile expanded dot toggle, right? This is us triggering the switch between expanded and profile. Whenever we tap my face, we're toggling that Boolean. And then you see that Boolean here will switch is profile expanded. And then we'll either get the expanded profile view or the collapsed profile view, whichever. So let's run this and see what our animation looks like right now. Well, I don't even want to call it an animation because watch, I click it. It's just like an instant transfer. Maybe that's the behavior you want, but no, we want smooth animation. We don't want this herky-jerky stuff. But that is step one and two, right? We've had these two views that we're switching between, right? Collapsed and expanded, collapsed and expanded. And we need a way to trigger that, which is what we did by adding a tap gesture. There are many different ways you could trigger this animation. That's just one that I chose for this example. So that's steps one and two done. Now step three is like matching the subviews, letting SwiftUI know what to animate. This is where all the match geometry effect knowledge comes in. So let's take a look at what we got right here, right? We're expanded right now, let's go back to collapsed. So what we want to have happen, we want my face to get bigger and move to the center. Okay, that's one. So we want to connect my face between the two views. And my name is gonna move down to the middle. Um, so we want to connect the text of Sean Allen that you see over here, we want to connect that between the two views. And then same thing with iOS developer, we want to make sure those are connected between the two views. Now, what do I mean by connected? Well, we need to let SwiftUI know that these two views are the same and they should be smoothly animated between the states. Okay, so the first thing we want to do there is uh, add a namespace. So at namespace private var profile animation. Now I called this profile animation, in case you have multiple animations on a screen, you want to be specific, you could just call this animation. I don't know, like I said, I like to be specific so people know exactly what, what's going in there. So like I said, we're gonna let SwiftUI know how to connect these views. But SwiftUI needs kind of like a little container, a little place to hold these IDs that we're gonna give it. And that's what this namespace is. So now that we have our namespace animation, this is where we need to connect the views, right? So I have collapsed profile view, which again was the smaller view you saw, and then expanded profile view. So we'll do these one at a time so you can see it in action. 
So in the collapse profile view, we'll start with profile image because this has a bit of a gotcha to it. Anytime you're changing the size of something, like we're changing the size of my profile image, the match geometry effect modifier has to go before the frame change. You'll see in collapse profile, which is the smaller one, we have a frame of 60 by 60. Whereas in expanded, when it gets bigger, like you see on the right there, we have 130 by 130. So our size is changing. So we need to add modifier.matched geometry effect. You see here, we have an ID in. And you can see the ID is a hashable, you just use a string or namespace. Like I said, we have to tell SwiftUI what namespace our IDs are in. That's what's going on here. So for right now, we can just do, we'll say image. And then in namespace, we can do profile animation, which is what we created up here, this namespace. So we've given the profile image, match geometry effect, ID image, and profile animation. Now we can just copy this because we have to, again, connect the image in the other view. We're in the collapsed profile view right now. So in the expanded profile view, we're gonna do the same thing in profile image. Again, make sure it's above the frame, only when you're adjusting the size. Normally you can put it at the end. Now let's run it and we should see my face animating. And it's not, hmm, why? This is another gotcha too. You have to add with animation wherever you trigger the switch between, you know, is expanded, is not expanded. So we do that in the profile image here, right? Remember on tap gesture is profile expanded dot toggle. Well, wherever you're switching that toggle, you have to add with animation and you can add, you know, dot spring or, you know, kind of play with whatever animation you want. We'll throw a nice little dot spring on there. And then we'll move is uh, profile expanded up into with animation. So now that I have this with animation on my tap gesture, now we should see just my face move. Everything else should kind of be herky-jerky, but at least my face will animate, right? So you see my name in iOS developer, that just fades out and goes in. So right, just my face is moving. But we want to move my name as well. And while we're doing that, because it's very similar to what we did here, I'm gonna actually refactor, right? Because we'll, we'll do one and then I'll refactor to show you maybe a cleaner way to do it. So on my name here. So let's connect the names or match the names between the two views. So I can do dot matched uh, geometry effect. You know, maybe you would say name in namespace profile animation. Uh, and then it's just a simple copy and paste to whatever you want to match. We're matching text of the name, Sean Allen. And we're in the collapse profile view. Down here in the expanded profile view, go ahead and match that with the ID of name. So ID is the important thing. Like that's what SwiftUI kind of matches in the container, which is the namespace, right? So you want two views with the same ID of name. So SwiftUI can interpolate the animation between them. And then real quick, we'll do the same thing for iOS developer uh, down here, this text. Again, we're in the expanded profile view. So we'll have to do it up again in the collapse profile view. Instead of name, we want to do, we'll just say job. And then I'll copy this and paste it down here. Now, if you're familiar with Swift, you, you've, you've heard the term stringly typed. You saw I had to like kind of copy and paste and type out these strings. That leaves room for error. There could be typos. So what I like to do is I can actually make these namespaces as well. So at namespace, private var, profile image. You know, copy and paste that here for, we'll do profile name, profile job. And then here instead of image, you know, I can do profile image. You know, I'll just replace all these, right? Profile image profile name, profile job. And like I said, this is just a little extra work on the refactoring so you don't have to like type out the strings all the time. Cause you know, this could get out of, out of control here. So profile job, do command B and these errors should. Oh, I can't call a profile image cause I already have a variable called profile image. So we'll say avatar. I know I could just do the rename feature, but this is a lot quicker. So okay, now we should be good to go. I just, I just named two variables the same thing. That's all that error was. But as you can see, a little cleaner. So now if I run it, now because I've connected those views, now we get the smooth animation that we saw in the beginning. And the reason the videos are moving down is because if you look in the expanded profile view, there's an extra, the V stack, right, is bigger, right? The V stack in the collapse is just my name and title, but the V stack in the expanded profile view has like my bio here that you see here. So that's making that V stack bigger, which is pushing those, that list of videos down further. But it is a nice little animation that makes it look like the, you know, videos are, are sliding down to reveal my, my profile, I like that little touch to it. To recap, profile avatar image is matched between the collapse view and the expanded view. Our name is matched between the two views. Our iOS developer job title is matched between the two views. So that is how SwiftUI knows to interpolate the differences and smooth that animation between the two. And that is match geometry effect in SwiftUI. If you like my teaching style, my presentation style, I have my own iOS developer courses at seanallen.teachable.com. Go ahead and check them out and we'll see you in the next video.